guys, welcome to the Charm School Show, your weekly lesson in all things beauty, life, and health. I am Crystal. And I'm Kim. So today's guest is Teresa Braddy. She is a licensed professional counselor and she's actually coming out with her very first book. Before we get into the book, we're going to get into everything that she is about. Give us your background and tell us more about you. So I'm from Ohio and I am, as she said, a licensed professional therapist. And so what I do is I specialize in sexuality, uh, relationship issues, intimacy issues, and post-traumatic stress and some, um, de lots of depression. Depression wow. is my favorite topic. Is it? And it's because you get to see the transition. But how did I get here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, if you would have known me back in the day, I was this real quiet girl, so when people told, said, when I told my mom I was going to be in going into sexuality, she was like, okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, girl. She's a little concerned. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to figure out what I wanted to do, because I was at a, I don't know if you ever, when you graduate from undergrad, you're like, okay, what am I going right. to do? No. So what you do? I prayed. Yes, I prayed. man. And I asked God, I said, God, show me what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, I want you to be a Christian sex therapist. Ooh. And I said, okay, so is that a real thing? Insert right here to watch Single Saved and, and the, the Sex. sex. That's yes. an episode that we have. <laughs> she said a Christian sex therapist. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Because I'm a Christian, but I also got me. sex. <laughs> and that's why my book is called A Girl Has Needs. I really have well worked with people from people who are questioning their sexuality mm -hmm. to people who are can't get into intimacy because of their sexual abuse. Oh, um, okay. So it's it's a variety of things that I've worked with, such as doing oral sex classes and those kinds of things. So I have done. Did you see my like, face light up? <laughs> Did you look at? Did you see? I was like, girl. So girl. cheating is a piece that I do also. So that was it's been fun Boy, too. I think we need to have a workshop, <laughs> right? <laughs> we trying to flourish in twenty seven. So that's trying to get a husband. <laughs> Definitely. Not just a husband, but you want to be satisfied too. Amen. Yes. All right. Let's talk about this book. Yes, so, absolutely. Yeah, so what inspired you to write a book? So the book is called A Girl Has Needs, But a Woman Knows What She Wants. So what I looked at was how age, frequency of going to church, gender, and education affects the gray area. So the gray mm -hmm. area is when you're having casual sex, but you have no commitment. Mm -hmm. And so what was interesting, and maybe it was just my population of people that I uh, surveyed, was interesting is that the men were more religious than the women, which was weird. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, as it relates to sexuality. Okay. Um, so, uh, but the women were more comfortable with the gray area. And I just thought that that was just That's crazy. Sad. But it be, it's because the age was skewed. But it really helped helped me to see the trend that was starting, that casual sex was mm -hmm. starting to be more accepted than just you have to be in a marriage to be married. I Do mean, you think sex. it's because women are so wanting to be in a relationship that they'll just sacrifice maybe some of their mora morals or goals and they'll just be like, oh well, let's do what I gotta do. I think it's twofold. I think yeah. it's part of that. Um, but I also feel, and this is what my dad told me um, a couple of years ago, he called me, he said he read an article. So my father said, um, the more educated you get, the less, um, the women were not getting married. Mm -hmm. And so it was, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, well, you know, daddy, you're talking about me. And he was like, well, yeah, that's why I'm telling you about Google. <laughs> so dumb it down, sis. If you <laughs> So I think so. The trend is that I think the trend is women are feeling more empowered, but mm -hmm. women are waiting longer to get married. Women are waiting later, you know, focusing on their careers. Mm -hmm. So they still have needs, and so Absolutely. because of that, the casual sex is coming in um, to fulfill that piece of what they need. What can we expect from this book? So the book is basically about not losing yourself in relationships. It's okay. not a male bashing book. Uh, basically about looking at your responsibility in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's good for either the woman who is young and she can see the signs, recognize the signs, so she mm -hmm. can see those yellow flags and those red flags. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're coming out of a relationship and you're hurt, mm -hmm. you're able to then get through that healing process also. So that's basically what the, the book is about. When the book really, come out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the first chapter I describe the roots of intimacy mm -hmm. and it's the psychological, the physical, and then the spiritual. Spiritual mm -hmm. not being a religious doctrine, but spiritual being your morals and values. Mm -hmm. The psychological being your past and present experience and your emotions. And then the physical, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the physical. Mm -hmm. So anytime there's conflict in any of those areas, it's going to cause cause conflict in your relationships. Mm -hmm. Each chapter has a woman that speaks 
before I even go into anything. Mm. So like for instance, there was, I think the one chapter, I think it's called My Heart, My Mind and Soul had a talk today. Mm -hmm. It talks about balance. And the woman who's talking, she basically says, okay, today I just left the gym, I look a hot mess, I stop at the stoplight, and guess who rose up? <laughs> My ex. Uh, of course. <laughs> but of course. And he was like, how you doing? Now I can smell his cologne. Oh. <laughs> So he extra Damn, fresh, come mm, on, mm, smelling good, looking good. <laughs> and so then I'm like, he's like, how you doing? And I'm just like, yeah, it's okay. And I'm all lying and chilling about it because you know I have to still be in my feelings. Right. And then he rolls <laughs> off. And so when he rolls off, I'm feeling horrible because I look a hot mess right. and he was looking good because he was ready for work. And, you know, I felt like, okay, what should I do at this point? And then I was like, all of a sudden I was like, well, wait a minute. He got the same memories as me. He probably want me just as much as I want him. So that's like that's the beginning of that uh, relate, that particular chapter. So each chapter gives you a, like a beautiful uh, outlook of what I'm about to talk about. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh girl, you go home, you take a fire selfie, and then <laughs> you get it on Instagram. Get it on Instagram, make sure you share it a lot. We'll see. Tag all your friends as friends with him, because then he really gonna see it. You got this. I was thinking different. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little petty. Right. Because you gonna see that I'm looking good. Right. I've been in the gym. I've been in the gym. Yeah, you gotta put that status just worked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Girls trip coming up. Right. Mm -hmm. Headed to, to Miami. Miami. <laughs> Hashtag Miami girls trip. It's about to be on. It's a revenge trip. I like so like your favorite chapters. My favorite chapter goes back to my thesis and it's talking about the gray area. You're having casual sex, but there's no commitment, as I said before. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wait. Mm -hmm. Look, I gave myself away. I gave myself away. <laughs> Now there is a small percentage of individuals who do not naturally attach. So mm -hmm. they are not emotionally attaching because of usually some early on trauma. So either some abandonment issues or sexual abuse, physical abuse, those kinds of things kind of shut people off. Um, so you're saying that they can have sex without having the emotional and attachment. And not think nothing about it and keep on walking. Usually attributed to guys. That, so that, that was, that was my next too. thing. That's what I was about too. to ask. So, but it's, that's a small percentage. Because mm -hmm. even for guys, if you're having sex on a consistent basis, there might not be love, but there is an attachment, even if you're just mm -hmm. attached to the sex. Like Let's get real. Mm -hmm. So breakups. You know that period in your breakup when you break up, but y'all still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when I'd say you have to really cut it off because just think you have let go of somebody that was a part of you, mm -hmm. and so you have to mourn that part of you. So just think at that point, two hurt people mm -hmm. still trying to get it together, and that's when you get hurt even more. So then you just right. totally cut it off right. because that. But that's what you should have did in the first place mm -hmm. because your body does not know that you broke up. Right. So when you see them, when you hear them, when you touch them, when you smell them, when you uh, you just it, it, it just. Your body just don't know. You know, in every relationship, you are able to learn something about yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe I should have been more vocal in this. Or maybe I shouldn't have been so vocal in this. Right. And so, as you learn those things and you redefine yourself who you are, and this is what the book is about, mm -hmm. um, then you can go back to that person or talk to that person if you feel like the need. But whatever you, whatever you didn't get from his house... You gotta leave it. leave it. But it's my favorite well, brush. You need to get clarification on. Leave it. No. Okay. Oh, that's the hard. Okay, listen. I know, cause it's like, okay, I just, I just want clarity. I just want like a peace of mind or something. And you want to like keep talking it out? Is that this, like you're that's, saying, that's such a woman thing? You it know is. What it is. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is, go talk to your your girlfriend. Go talk to a therapist Kim, about that. I'm about to lose closure. a friend. Because, <laughs> I'm like, oh, what girl? Okay, hold on. But that's why you go see someone like Teresa. And as a side note, black people especially, I it agree. is okay. Right. If you want to keep your friends, you need to go talk to somebody that's I not agree. biased, that's mm -hmm. not, you know, that's there to listen. Like, that's what, you know, and to give great feedback. Exactly. I think that that is the piece that you need because you, the clarity is really not clarity. That's not mm -hmm. what you really want. Mm -mm. Yeah, right. you, you don't you want to, it, it, it's usually, usually it's, you want them to hurt like you hurt and you want to understand. Right. You see, but it's about you. So let's say that you go back and, and you talk to that person and they say, well, you didn't drop it like
like I wanted you to drop it. So then you try to drop it like you want to drop it, but that's not who you are. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. say this other thing about my book. Say it. Girl, tell us. Well, I also have a chapter about, I also have to, I also have a chapter about personalities. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because you have to understand <laughs> your personality in order to see how people perceive you, if that makes sense. Talk about four different personalities. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is the nurturer. The second mm -hmm. one is the social butterfly. The third one is <laughs> the businesswoman, and then the I fourth one else. is Queen Bee. And so I'm what is it all of them? You, you should be all of them. Okay. But okay. you have a dominant one. Mm. Everybody has a dominant feature. And it's where you go to when you're stressed out. It goes to when you're uncomfortable. I'm social. Mm -hmm. mm. I would be like, yo, what are we doing? Yep. Go out. Exactly. That's her. So that, it, well, I'm that the... chapter, you get to see who you are because just think about it. When you're in a relationship, it kind of gets stressful and you can see which part of your personality comes out. So I'm automatically a nurturer. So when I feel like my, my relationship is, a, is some rocky conflict going on, I'm just going to be nurturing him. And that's not necessarily mm. what your relationship needs. Right. You might need you're the social. You're like, okay, so we need to go out. Where are we going? Like, because even yesterday, because I was stressed out, because my kids left for the summer, and I was mm -hmm. like, I don't want to be at home, so mm -hmm. who's trying to go out? Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. did. And then I went out by myself. Real tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Social butterfly. Really? So definitely read that chapter. Can't wait to read it. Okay. Yeah. Last chapters is it talks about st uh, twelve steps to recovering from a broken heart. Mm -hmm. First step from. Um, the 12 steps of recovering from a broken heart is you are not in control of love. You have no control over it. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, is what I find, um, especially when people are dealing with intimacy issues, mm -hmm. I ask them to define love. Mm. And people have such a hard time defining right. love. So how can we say we in love? Right. How can we express this emotion? Right. And we don't even know what, what it is. is. You know, you can get into these relationships and not really wanting to fall in love and fall in love. Mm -hmm. Or you can be a, a person that you want to fall in love with and cannot fall in love with. Oh my God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so She's laying me off, day. I'm going to need a refill. <laughs> Garçon. Garçon. <laughs> so I'm excited about the book, so definitely get it. We're so oh excited. Gosh, Guys, you have excited. to pick this up. So you said, when will it be out? At the end of the month. At the end of the month, you can get the rest of those 12 steps to get over that broken heart. Learn about everything else, casual stuff. And we're definitely bringing her back for Absolutely. a part two. Like, there's just way too much to talk about. I, I just want a therapy session. So. Okay, so where can people find you? Yep. BoutiqueTalkCounseling.com is my Ooh. website. Okay, awesome. Cute, love it. And that will definitely be in the description box below, so make sure you check her out for all of your counseling needs. This has been a great show. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank we you appreciate so you much. so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Charm School Show. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Peace.